the abduction of Rose Eyre. In the spring of 1915 in Alhambra, Spain, Rosa Eyre was kidnapped by surprise while walking through the gardens of the palace in the company of the singing of birds. No one realized what happened which had dismayed the entire elegant population of this place. Rose was one of the most beautiful and millionaire women of the palace. This generated an immediate police investigation but the ministry did not have concrete evidence to continue giving importance to that disappearance science no one had seen anything. Several days after what happened, Rose's parents, who belonged to a royalty, did not seem twist and decide to contact Sherlock Holmes, a private detective, not very emotional, ironic, not precise by his reputation as a safe person. Of the contrary, sometimes he called by a little abroad, but always courteous with women, although he was suspicious of them. At the time, Holmes was initially accompanied by his friend Dr. Watson. They decided to undertake the trip and help the Adair family. Their journey by boat took eight days, eight days full of anguish and despair for that family. Finally arrived in Alhambra and eager to discover what happened began to look for clues. He examined her things outside the conventional frameworks. Pay attention to all the details, however, small they are in addiction to having a remarkable variety of skills. Holmes and Dr. Watson began to investigate and share for clues in that garden where Rose had disappeared. They request help from the police and begin questioning the person who has apparently working that day near the site where the abduction occurred, the Garden of Alhambra. Albert and then the person who had stopped the investigation, the minister James Wilson, who had had a strong discussion with Joseph Adair, father of Rose, in the previous days. What the two men did not imagine was who was behind the clues of the kinet of this beautiful woman. Albert and James apparently know were taken to a room by the authorities and suddenly with a firm step, a broke back man came through the door and took a seat with a great imposing, had a peep and hand that intimidate anyone in was Sherlock Holmes. He began to ask them questions but without giving any valid answer, he quickly returned to the gardener, casually began to search, and suddenly he saw something seen in the, in the middle of the grove. It was a gold bracelet which a diamond embedded. It was clearly raw signs, no one else in the palace wore that king of jewelry. And so they began to collect evidence of the sad inning. Watson knew that identify a print on that bracelet will take days, so Holmes decided to take a closer look at the two suspects and watch them then more closely. That night, he decided to follow them, and to his surprise, Albert and Wilson knew each other. They were arguing loudly and looked very nervous, besides, they were cozy. Wilson and Joseph had argued on several occasions for the same reason, for the sale of some land, and because Joseph was someone overbring. So for him it was Wilson who was responsible for the disappearance of his doctor in ribbing for not having done the business. He day after Mr. Holmes discovered the tour between Albert and Wilson. He decides to talk to the minister. Holmes had a very intimidating way of approaching people, so he began to ask him questions. And without partner, although he saw something in the eyes of the man that told him that he was not the blame for the disappearance of Rose, but he knew who had done it and we. 
but he kept silent. Holmes, when in search of Albert the Gardener, who seemed to be innocent and had no idea of what had happened. To his surprise, Holmes had noticed the day before the scratches on his arms and no mother how hard he tried to hide them, he had noticed them. When Holmes arrived at his house, he realized that the already knew that he was responsible for the kidnapping of Ross. And Crane confessed his crime, saying that he had done it to take grieving on his father's son Joseph many years ago, had humiliated his family for being humble people, taking away their land on throwing them off of Alhambra without having a roof to live under. Albert both to return and take grieving on Joseph and so he did. When Joseph apologized and returned what belonged to Albert's family, he released Rose, a millionaire girl who paid for his father's mistake. Finally, Albert and James Wilson were on with their lives and the entire family was returned but with a new lead lesson. Humanity is greater than anything. Thus, Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson had another of their adventures and managed to solve the mystery. End.